How cool is this? A team led by Virginia Tech researchers has developed a new method that turns plastic trash into something far more valuable, something that we use every day. It's turning plastic trash into soap. And here to talk about the process is the man who came up with the idea, Associate Professor Greg Liu. This is actually so amazing, Greg. How did you come up with this idea? Um, so the idea actually comes from the, the chemistry um, instinct um, because uh, when we uh, look at the molecules of uh, a plastic, for example, polyethylene, which is a common grocery bag material, and the chemistry tells us that and um, polyethylene is basically a long chain of carbon connected together. And when we look at the breakfast table and we have butter and we have uh, uh, sometimes bacon and uh, we have a lot of animal fat and uh, animal fat is actually the way and uh, the precursor to produce uh, soap. And the fat structure um, is very similar to polyethylene except it's a much a shorter chain um, of carbon and with some functional groups at the end. So we realized that the similarities between those two molecules, and we realized potentially we can break the polyethylene chains into shorter chains, and then we can functionalize them, and then we can produce uh, fat, and which can be used to produce uh, soap. So that's the idea I come from. That's the process you geniusly came up with. How did this idea even come up? I was sitting at the fireplace at a home during the Christmas time, and uh, and I was watching how fire burn inside the uh, inside the fireplace, and I and I actually actually had a plastic bag next to me, and I realized the difference and the similarities between firewood and a plastic bag. So I realized that if I can burn my plastic bag in a similar way to I burn my firewood, um, then maybe I can break the chains into some more molecules. Um, but uh, typically, when I burn my um, firewood, sometimes I don't burn really well because I'm, I'm not a good good person next to the fireplace. Sometimes I make a uh, smoke. So um, to me, the smoke is a, is a shorter chain um, polymer um, from biomass. And if I can do the same way to the plastic bag, then I can make uh, oligomer or small chains of uh, polyethylene. Then I can go with that process. So that's the uh, the idea come from. So we, we started to pursue that uh, idea and build our own reactor in the lab to test this idea and work out pretty well. Well, I'm so glad that it worked out and that we get to reap the benefits of your discovery. You've used your knowledge and your skill set to really make a difference. And for someone that's listening and wants to make a big impact in sustainable chemistry or really just in their world, what would you say to them? Um, oh, I, 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 I'm, um, I'm afraid that I'm not qualified to, uh, to, to comment on, um, on, on, on such a big topic. Um, I just maybe share my, my humble opinion and my, my personal belief. And I, I think, uh, what we can do is that as an individual and we, we use our, our best capability to help the community. Uh, if I, uh, if I, I can recycle one bag, or we can recycle one plastic. I would do as much as I can. And if we can uh, utilize our background, being either chemistry or chemical engineering or any other fields that we, our background uh, is about, we use our, our knowledge and our skills that we have learned. We can see if we can find a, any way to help contribute to this problem and solve it, then I think that was, that's the best thing we can do. And we want to thank you so much for your efforts in your success, too, in helping make the world a cleaner place with less plastic contamination. We do put a lot of plastic waste out there, different types of plastics, really. Uh, is there a specific type of plastic that you have to use, or is there a wide spectrum of plastics that you can convert to use to soap? So um, uh, right now, our process works for uh, a few uh, plastics. Um, typically, we uh, use polyethylene. We also can use polypropylene. Um, we haven't really worked on the other plastics that we can make into soap yet, but because the chemical structures will be different, but this uh, works for polyethylene and polypropylene. The good news is that polyethylene and polypropylene accounts about over 50% of the market of the entire plastic world. Is there soap that you can buy today that's made from plastic? <laughs> and probably not today yet. So. Um, um, I don't think this is already on the market yet, um, but we are working on a process to um, uh, put this in the market uh, hopefully soon. 
and we have figured out different ways to make the different um, chains of um, of different lands. And then hopefully one day somebody will adapt this process, and uh, uh, we can use uh, utilize the soap data from some uh, uh, sustainable resources. So this process of taking plastics to convert to soap is that only applicable to bars of soap, or can you convert it to liquid soap as well? I, I think that's actually uh, something that I, I think is uh, pretty reasonable because from the chemistry perspective, and uh, the molecules are identical, and there's no differences among a a soap that is made from animal fat or a soap is made from a polyethylene non-chain. And chemically, they are identical. So I don't see any reason to discourage one from the other. If we can produce a soap products from sustainable resources like uh, polyethylene, and then we can reuse them again, then we don't have to rely on the livestock that we have to uh, um, uh, sacrifice animals and then we use their fat for such products that we use today. So that's really sustainable chemistry in two ways. You're not only converting the plastic trash into something that we can use, but you're also saving another resource by not having to use that animal fat to convert to wax to use for soap. So really that's twofold for the ways that this is a beneficial process. And that's right. So and then we can use more use the soap that is more humane. So this process of taking plastics to convert to soap, is that only applicable to bars of soap or can you convert it to liquid soap as well? So uh, uh, that's something that is under the development, you know, laboratory. And uh, I'm very confident and uh, to say that we can potentially develop those processes too. How much plastic conversion does it take to make one bar of soap? We know that the conversion rate of our current processes is about uh, 80% and above. So um, let's, we can do the uh, math relatively quickly. If I say, say 50 gram of uh, of uh, a, a soap, then I probably need uh, maybe just uh, uh, less than 100 grams of uh, precursor. This is cutting edge technology. Why do you think it's so important to divert plastic waste from our landfills and give it a new life? We realize that we uh, we have a lot of waste materials from our daily use. Um, grocery bag is one example, milk jug is another example, that we don't always uh, reuse them. Of course, ideal case and um, we will reuse them but it's not always the case and uh, a significant amount of these uh, materials are leaked into the environment and they're not doing any good to our environment actually they contaminate our ocean uh, our beach and our our neighborhoods so if we can utilize this end of life plastics for something else we can reuse them in the chemical industry i think that's a, a good thing for us are there improvements to be made at all um, absolutely. And um, we have demonstrated the feasibility of the process, but it's not, it's far from uh, um, ideal case yet. Right? So uh, as, as you usually say to my uh, my friends and my, my customers that um, we have made a soap, but these are probably uh, the soap that we can further improve in terms of the color, in terms of the fragrance, in terms of all the other things. And we want to make them very friendly to our customers. So that's the end goal in the future. This is all so exciting and we can't wait to see what your team continues to come up with. What excites you the most about the field of sustainable chemistry? Um, I think what it really excites me the most is that um, we can come up with ways that we can contribute to the community. And as, as a chemist and chemical engineer, and what I think what we can do is that we can come up with new ideas and see if we can bring a piece of uh, the puzzle and we can find a solution to the, uh, to the, the grand problem, the problem that we face today. Um, I think using the technology, using the ideas, and using the knowledge that we have to help the community is, is a blessing. Is there anything else you would like everyone to know about what's next for you and the steps of fine tuning this process? I really um, hope more people will be um, um, excited about this process. And uh, I, uh, I know that we, have, uh, we, ha we kind of have a, a feasible solution, but it's, uh, it's not uh, commercialized yet and I really need help. And I would encourage anybody who is out there who is willing to help us, please do so. And um, uh, we commercialize the process it takes a lot of time and effort and energy and, and also investment. So um, this kind of efforts will need a lot of uh, people's um, joint effort together. So uh, I hope we will have a joint force work together and solve this problem together. How can someone get in contact with you if they have a creative idea on how they can help? 
yeah, um, you can always email me, call me, uh, any way that uh, uh, they can approach me, and I will be always available. And I'll be, I'll be always excited to talk with anyone who's excited about this uh, same uh, uh, same uh, idea that we are working on.